Springdale police, they are looking for a man who they say shot a woman in the face while she was just in her car in a parking lot. Police say the suspect should be considered armed and dangerous. Mike Shell is following this story for us and joins us live tonight from Springdale with the latest. Mike. Yeah, Megan, we don't know the woman's name, but we are told she is going to be okay after undergoing treatment at a local hospital. Uh, we are at the office park on Glen Springs Drive, just off of Route 4. Springdale police were called to the parking lot shortly after 10 o'clock this morning. And there was a female victim who was shot. She was sitting in her car at the time, and actually you can see it was shot through the window. Police say the victim knows the suspect. He is 28-year-old Evan Terrence. He's 5 feet 9 inches tall and weighs 150 pounds. He has black hair and brown eyes. His last known address is on Ryland Avenue in Bond Hill and was last seen driving a gray Honda Civic four-door. They definitely knew each other. Um, they were in separate cars here in the lot. I don't know what brought them to this parking lot in particular, but uh, some discussion occurred beforehand. A detective with a metal detector searched the grass near the car, and we are told at least one piece of evidence was recovered. It's unclear if it was a spent cartridge casing. Police are checking to see if the woman worked or had a connection with the clinical research business. Terrence is charged with felonious assault, and police don't believe anyone else is in danger. Well, there's a man that's driving around with a gun who is clearly agitated and capable of shooting someone. However, I would say this was obviously a targeted attack to one specific person. So in general, I would say that's not the case. It's not an issue for the public. The police say the woman was able to communicate with detectives and hospital staff. Still not sure what her relationship is with Evan Terrence. A police say if you know where he is, Call the Springdale Police Department or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live from Springdale, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now. Thank you, Mike Shell.